welcome. I'm going to talk a little today about using uh, the software for Noel and Baby Hal, how to start that up and uh, how it's actually used uh, in the control room. Um, this uh, video is primarily for the clinical faculty who will be running Noel scenarios and Baby Hal scenarios. So let's get right in there. The software we use is made by Gamard. It's this little baby here. You can select down here in the taskbar. You can double click it on, to, on the uh, desktop, whichever one suits you. I like using it from the taskbar myself. And you get an option when you first start it open, Noel or Newborn. We're going to show Noel first. And we're always running from Noel Advanced. So I'm going to start her up. It does take a minute. She is wireless, so it takes a minute for, well, they're both wireless, both Hal and uh, Noel are, are wireless, so it can take a minute for them to connect with the uh, receivers. Um, and you'll see a little communication box, it'll pop up and you can see there, she's starting to connect. All right, so this is really the opening screen here that we have. Um, we typically don't run on the fly. Uh, I know. Um, when you're doing some orientation with the students at first, you may very well want to do that, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I find it the easiest way of doing it is um, highlighting this little magic wand, this green magic wand here. It's, it makes it instant apply. It's really nice to do. So when you get in to uh, changing vitals, it'll automatically check. It'll just turn it over. You don't have to do do it in 10 seconds, do it in 20 seconds, it just automatically changes the settings that you're looking for. But for the most part, we run from scenario. And the scenario that I'm going to show you, or just load up for you, is one that we run quite often, and it's uh, Eileen. So we got it loaded up. We're going to move over to labor, because under labor, again, the students, uh, for this particular scenario, they're going to be concentrating more on that fetal heart strip, on the fetal heart rate. So uh, we'll want to speed the actual um, labor up so they can see that uh, the contractions at a faster pace than, than what they would normally get um, because our scenarios are designed for about 10 minutes long and we don't have time to do a 60 minute labor duration for them to really analyze strips. So we just speed it up and we can do that down here by clicking this button and just ramping this up. And so at the two minute mark, the strip is moving unrealistically fast, but they get a good sense of seeing the contractions take place and what's going on and, and D cells um, coming into action. So that's why we kind of ramp it up. So you want to do that beforehand and then pop back to your scenario area right here. Again, you're primarily interested between scenario and the labor and you only have to do labor ramp up that um, speed that one time during the scenario, and then you just start the scenario at this stage by double clicking. And then uh, at this point, you're just following along what the student's doing. Um, are they recognizing some things? Are they stopping the Pitocin? Are they applying oxygen, whatnot? You're just really just clicking on these sessions and it's taking you to various stages, uh, which changes the actual strip and it does change some of her um, vital signs as well as you move along. So. Um, just follow that through until the end. Um, and then uh, it, uh, it will end on its own once they have completed these tasks. So the scenario has ended, we click OK. And then uh, we'll want to start that back up by hitting the uh, Reset Scenario button. And that'll load. that particular scenario back up. Back to the top to where we're back at the start stage, okay? And if we go back to labor, just to double check. So it's still sitting at the, uh, sp uh, the speed that we chose earlier, so that hasn't moved. So that's good. We can leave that just like that. And you don't want to start these up um, until uh, the students get in the room because they may they may wander in ahead of time and you don't want that strip showing you just want that strip to show normal uh, activity 
before they, they walk in. So uh, when they when you hear the knock, that's when you want to double click on the on the Eileen start state. Another thing that you're going to need to know is uh, how to communicate through the mannequin. Uh, we use another piece of software that sits on top of um, the Gamard software. It's this little X panel software. This these little square boxes down here. This will again most of this will already be already up and running. And we train with the simulator. And then we've got to scroll down to get our buttons in view. And the button that you're going to primarily use is the simulator voice and the overhead speaker voice. So uh, you, if you're talking as the patient, you're going to be using the simulator voice. You left click and hold the mouse down, and you'll see that the button is blinking. Uh, and the same thing if you're going to give any sort of assessment information. Um, or anything relating to the scenario that the students need to know that a patient would normally say, you would use the overhead speaker by doing the same, left-clicking on the mouse button and holding the button down. Um, another uh, icon needs to be highlighted. That's this microphone icon down here. Um, this is what activates Noel's voice. So um, if, you're, if you're holding this button down and you're not hearing anything, it's probably because that this is not highlighted. So keep that in mind. And again, if you have any problems, you can always uh, reach me, uh, Lonnie Rozier or Erin McKinney, and uh, we're right around the corner to come and make sure that uh, you know, any problems that you're having are solved. So we're finished. We're happy with what we've got in Noel, and now we want to move on to uh, Baby Howe. And we'll do that by shutting down the software. We'll just close it out by clicking the X right up here. That closes it out. And so that all that leaves is our little speaker box right there. And we'll reopen the same software. Now we're going to choose Newborn Hal because that's who we're working with now. We always uh, do quick start newborn with him. And we'll click start. And it's going to look exactly like what you saw in Noel. Um, the big difference here is that you won't be speaking through the simulator because he's a baby. No need to worry about uh, making sure that his microphone or his talking mechanism is working because he doesn't have one. He does cry, but that's about all he does. So, But you, you still will need it to talk um, through overhead uh, if, uh, in case you need to deliver any information that way. But you can see it's looks just the same. Again, if you want to do on-the-fly kinds of things with him, uh, you want to make sure that green wand is on before you change any of the settings. And then uh, you'll, you'll load your scenario. The primary one that we've been using is Eileen's new, Newborn Scenario 2. Just load that scenario up and you can see it looks very similar to uh, what we have with um, Noel situation. Uh, he does have a patient monitor that he uses with um, vital signs. In this scenario, they don't get any vital sign information on the, on the patient monitor, so you can just double click and, or hit play, and it's off and running. And you'll just follow the checklist over here, uh, as you would normally do, by selecting these icons. And then it takes you down. Um, to, to your uh, at the end of the scenario. Very, very straightforward. And uh, that's pretty much how you um, pop between uh, the Noel scenarios and the Baby Hal scenarios. You'll, you'll just have to close out the software every time you switch between the two mannequins. They're both in the same room, um, so we cannot run them at the same time. But uh, this is how we move from one mannequin to the other. All right, that's it. Again, if you have any questions or problems, please give me or Erin a buzz, and we'll be right over to help you out. Have a great day.